What's up, my dudes? Welcome back to the Ultimate Diecast Collecting Channel. This is the first official full-length video from my new apartment, and I've been working on putting these up all day long and also unpacking all of these cars. I still have a lot more to do, but this is my dedicated diecast room, and I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm not going to do a full tour because I haven't <laughs> hung up anything yet, but I just wanted to show you. I still have a lot of unpacking to do, and uh, yeah, a lot to do still. But we are going to crack open an obscene amount of Hot Wheels today. This is going to be my office once I get it set up. I don't even have my computer up yet, but let's do a quick jump cut, and we're going to get to crack it. All right, we are at the desk. We are ready to crack open some Hot Wheels. I'm going to go in no particular order. Um, wait, strike that. We're going to do these Honda Civic anniversary cars first. And let's start with this one right here. We got a Honda Civic Si. It doesn't specify the year, but it's either a 99 or 2000. Um, Taillights are a little bit large on this model. I'm just now noticing. Japanese five spoke wheels in a white, Sparco Coney, Ray's Engineering Hot Wheels, and something else I just can't read. But it's pretty nice looking. Looks like it has the old school Wings West kit from back in the day. Definitely has the Wings West hood and wing. Yeah, those tail lights are just a little bit too big, but they still look pretty nice. Civic and Honda H look great. Got a nice little exhaust on it. And there's the black plastic base. Very nice car. Oh, no headrests on the seat either. That's kind of weird. Oh, those are amplifiers in the back of the stereo. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Very indicative of the air. Oh, is that a black intercooler too? Kind of looks like it, but I don't know if that was intentional or not. All right, let's see. Next Honda Civic up. An EF. One of my buddies had one of these back in the day. He put Integra taillights on the back because back then that was all the rage to mix and match headlights and taillights and all that stuff. These days, I'm pretty sure you can get laughed out of a meat or something like that. All right, let's check this out. Very nice metallic gray color. Black hood, I'm sure it's supposed to be carbon fiber. Headlights look excellent. Honda's been doing a great job. Um, this one has side view mirrors. Oh, this one does too. I forgot to mention, these both have side view mirrors. Little pods on the, on the red one. Completely red interior, right hand drive. Wow, this is awesome. Got the five spokes on there. And of course, a black plastic base. There's the very accurate, detailed taillights. And this thing is amazing. All right, let's move some of that packaging. Next one up. Uh, probably my least favorite in this set, but still relatively cool. I mean, a four-door performance car. I mean, to me, it's always seemed kind of weird. I know a lot of people would argue me with that, but I just don't see it why you'd want like a sedan <laughs> for your performance car. But anywho, this one we got black pure fives, like a goldish, copperish lip. Side view mirrors again. That's awesome. Yep, looks very accurate to this model, to this generation. Uh, excuse me, the headlights look really good. The type R is nice and legible. Very cool. I like this one. Windows are rolled up, but this one. Very nice. Alright, let's get that packaging out of the way. It's making everything hard to focus. I've never had this much room on my desk. There's usually a big computer right there. I haven't uh, unboxed it yet. Alright, next one up. We have a 2016 Civic Type R. One's a little bit cooler, in my opinion, in real life. Although I don't really like it. the yellow too much. Not this particular one, but it's a, it's, it's not bad. It's like in years again. I don't know, four for four, and now that headlight grill emblem combination is just amazing. Excellent. Actually, this is my second favorite of the set so far. First being the EF. Awesome model. 
Yeah, that one's actually really good. You know, that that, that front end just really does it. That's amazing. Now for the the best one. It's not really arguable. It's amazing. EG. Fantastic. When these first dropped, these were going for like $30, $40. <laughs> I think now they've come back down to earth a little bit. But you can get them for like between $15 and $20 now. But honestly, for good reason. Look at this amazing car. I kind of wish it didn't have that race square thingy there. Because other than that, oh, carbon fiber trunk lid, realistic tail lights. It's supposed to be carbon fiber hood. Got a little scratch on it, but it's okay. I bought multiples of these. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Very nice. Some white wheels. Yeah, this is really cool. Let's see, is it American or Japanese? It's Japanese. This is right hand drive. Oh, yeah, of course, because it has marker lights. Very, very nice. Yeah, if it didn't have that square, it'd be perfect in my book, but it's still extremely excellent. All right, so that is the entire five, you know, the collection of five of the Anniversary Civic set. Very nice five. I keep wanting to call it a five pack. It wasn't a pack. You had to buy them individually, but it's very nice. Um, this one is not officially part of that set, but check it out. We've got another EG. Now, this one is just called Honda Civic Custom, and I'm guessing it's one of Ray Uesala's. Creations. This one's really cool. I really like this one. All right, here it is. Now it looks like they're going for a really raced out. Whoops, excuse me. A really raced out version of an EG, which makes sense. It only has one seat. As you can see, it is a racing seat, of course. It has the glass removed for this lightweight plexi, or it's not even plexi, it's just some kind of polycarbonate. Same for the back. Very, very nice. And you know, it's turbo with the shortened exhaust, so the exhaust is popping up the hood. Very cool. I got the Hot Wheels logo, but no Hot Wheels in it. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. 42R has a racing air dam. There's an intercooler right there. And tur oh, and your turbo. Yep, there's the turbo and the intercooler. Very cool. And just like most racing uh, front-wheel drive racing cars, it has like the big slicks up front and the little bitty, <laughs> little, little bitty <laughs> race wheels in the back. Oh, and all the holes in the bumper. And of course, that cool aftermarket wing. <laughs> this thing is sick. I hope my brother Chris is watching this because I'm sure he'd get a kick out of this car. It takes us back to our old school racing days. Oh, cool. I didn't even notice it has the window rolled up on this side. So you can see the polycarbonate. You know, this one is rolled down so all the ladies can see them cruising by. All right, let's see. Now, let's jump into this awesome LB Works Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. It's an awesome delivery lock. This thing is legit. Very awesome. Love Lambos, love the Hurricane. I think it's a huge upgrade from their um, entry level V10 before, which was with the uh, Gallardo. Very beautiful car. Very good looking. Let's see where those 10 spokes? Yep, in black. Looks real good with the white paint. No tail lights, but it's all good. And of course, there is the black plastic base. Made in Malaysia, of course. <laughs> This is really cool. All right, there's that one. Pop that aside. And you know, I think I have another Liberty Works vehicle. Yes, I do. Check this one out. This one is way more zany and way awesome. Super specific to us old school Japanese car heads. Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Liberty Walk or Liberty Works. No, Liberty Walk specifically. <laughs> there's a Liberty Walk right there. This is pretty cool. I already, I love the paint. I love the paint. The wheels are kind of small. I would have gone with like bigger wheels on the back. That's really weird. I wonder if that's an error or if they're all like that. Still really nice. I love this paint job. Oh no. And it's got a little bit of paint flour right there. And some right there too. You can see the indentions right there. Oh well, there's a buck. It's still really cool. Love the fenders on this guy. And that stuff on the and the windshield is really cool. Dang, those headlights are sick as hell. There's the oil cooler. I know a lot of people think that's an air cooler, but it is not. Dang, man, this is raced out.
out the matching base. Super sick. That is seriously a badass car. Amazing. All right, let's see. Let's keep cruising. Let's keep cruising. Uh, I mean, I really, like I said, I don't really have any order that I'm going in, so let's just go down the line. Um, let's see. I got another one of these Ultra Hots. Hottest metal cars in the world. This one is the 87 Buick Regal GNX, which is a fairly fast car. And uh, an enthusiast favorite. I kind of like it myself. Hots. Looks to be Spectre Flame paint. Burgundy interior. Very nice. Headlights and grill look very cool. Same for the tails. Let's get a little bit more light. There we go. Yeah, this thing's cool. Have you guys been able to find any of these on the peg? I think at this point I have all the ones that I really want. All right, let's see, next one up, we got us, the Corvette C8R. Love this Corvette. There's actually quite a few of these, not the C8R, but C8 in my town. Quite a few, I haven't seen the Z06 yet, but these are very sick. Got some gun metal 10 spokes, big metal wing, super clear and clean window. Side mirrors. The lens headlights. I love them from this angle. No tails, but it's all good. Yes, another very cool Corvette for the collection. Now, we finally got a new square body. I haven't got a square body Hot Wheels in quite a long time. Specifically, this model is the 83 Chevy Silverado. It's the casting name. And it's pretty cool. But how can you really go wrong when it comes to square bodies? You really can't. Still want to buy one, but gotta get my Camaro first. Of course, it is dumped to the max and tubbed. Awesome green metallic flake. Big chromey grill. This one actually has a little bit of weight to it. A nice little roll pan. It's got a twice pipes and chrome base. Very badass. It's gonna be great on the wall. Alright, now we got us a factory fresh McLaren F1. One of Ryu's rides, or Ryu, if you prefer. Very nice. I couldn't remember if I opened crack this open or not, and everything's packed away, so I figure might as well err on the side of caution. Crack it loose, just in case. But check it out. Got some 5 SPs. Nice orange paint. Headlights and McLaren emblem look really nice. It's tiny, but you can actually read it. That's very cool. Details on the back are amazing. For a buck oh nine, you can't go wrong. Yeah, I don't know if it happened in your area, but even at Walmart, Hot Wheels have gone up by 10 cents. They're now a dollar nine where I live. Let me know in the comments how much they are in your neck of the woods. Oh, and next one up. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one is arguably my favorite in the entire video. Check this out. Lamborghini Scion, Scion? FKP 37. This thing is bonkers. I have a 124 scale version of this car but I have to say I like this one a little bit more. This is so sick. Also from Factory Fresh. Damn look at those lines. Wow. Absolutely sick. What a great color for this car. Wow. Absolutely excellent. Yeah, that one is bonkers. Uh, another really, really nice casting and, and release is Muscle Mania 69 Copo Camaro. This is another one that I just found. I mean, I found all these on the pack. I didn't, I didn't order any of these. Um, yeah, when I saw that Lamborghini, that last Lamborghini, and this car on the peg, I was like, what? I had no idea these were coming out. Gotta love it. You cannot go wrong. There we go. It is now free. And looking fantastic. Could have done some more work on the headlights and the grill, but it's alright. Same with the taillights. 
Hey, we got some big old fat tires. That's how it should always be. Look at those big old fatties. Yes. <laughs> it's sick. That makes up for any, <laughs> any other gripe I might have had. That is so cool. Fantastic car. All right. I'm going to see this packaging. super special but I thought it was nice from the Bel Air series 57 Chevy there we go it is really nice looking with the wide white walls and then otherwise black wheels five spokes to be exact really pretty gold metal flake and this one has really pristine tampo work Got a little of that. yeah and overall just your one of the mail Chevy. Beautiful chrome base as it should be. Love it. Okay, let's see. Oops. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see. There we go. Next one up. We got us a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Very cool. I'm sure this is a highly sought after car. People love Toyotas. Right now they're super popular. I can see why they're good looking trucks. This model, this model has uh, side view mirrors, great big off road tires, off road five spokes, headlights and grill work look amazing. It's even got some tail lights and more details back here. Really nice casting. Really, really nice. I love that one. It's so cool. All right, let's see what else we got. Some more Japanese goodness. It is. Oh, it's, I did not realize that this was Liberty Walk. Oh, wow. We got a Liberty Walk S15. Sick. New for 2022. So is a Tacoma. Okay. I forgot to mention it. Oh, that's a cool model. Dang, so raised out. Nice headlights, big wide body kit, huge front lip. Big diffuser. Wind's tail lights too. Wow, cool. The wing is metal. And of course, that side of the mirror. This is a great casting. Awesome. All right, let's see. Next one up. Uh, another one I saw on the peg and couldn't believe it existed. I mean, I don't even know why they have a red one. I mean, this car really exists and it's white, and I have the white one. But I guess when you think about it, they want to release more than one color, otherwise, they don't really make their money. Well, I'm sure they can make it back, but they want to maximize it, so they're going to drop it as many colors as they see fit. But I just love this casting, it's so cool. In real life, this car is just like the casting. It is wide and low and super cool. It is nasty. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I love that one. How can you not? Let's see. Oh, for a second there, I thought this was the same truck, but it's not. This is the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. My brother has a brand new Ram. It is seriously one of the nicest trucks I've ever seen. Beautiful red chrome bead lockers, headlight details. No side view mirrors, but man, look at the details on the hood. Looks really cool, those scoops. A very, very nice truck. I used to work at a dealership, at a Ram dealership. I used to see stuff like that every day. All right, more Japanese goodness. Check it out from Hot Wheels Drift. They have a Falcon themed Mark 7 FD goodness. Really, really like these. In real life, I would love to own them. Beautiful white 10 spokes. Like I said, it's got the Falcon livery. All kinds of goodies going on there. Taillights, unfortunately, that would make this car really pop, but it is extremely dope. I love that one. Let's see, next one up here's an oddball. We got us a Baja Bug, a, a mainline one for the Mud Studs. Pretty neat. The uh, main reason I got this one, I mean, I do like bugs, I think they're cool, but the main, main reason I got this one is because of like the painted details on the cargo up top. Isn't that cool? jerry can and some luggage of some sort got little mud splatters some light colored mud yes 
so maybe at White Sands or something, I don't know. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a neat little bug. My girlfriend likes Volkswagen bugs. I don't think she would ever own one, but she thinks they're cute. Next one up is one of my recent obsessions, Porsche 911s from the Factory Fresh set. Also new for 2022. black Y5, this beautiful blue paint, painted black top, metal wing, which is very accurate to the real thing. 911 GT3, excellent. Nice diffuser. Side view mirrors, lenses, headlights. It's got it all, it's got everything. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What more could you ask for? Maybe an RWB one? Do a quick jump cut and get rid of some of this packaging. All right, we are back, and the next car up is this amazing Liberty Walk GTR. I did not realize I had so many Liberty Walk vehicles to crack open in this video, but I'm really glad that I do. All right, oh, and that's from Hot Wheels Dream Garage, by the way. Definitely a dream in my book. Look at this amazing car. It's so cool. Um, do you consider this to be a race team? Almost anything with like blue that has the hot was the one. It kind of reminds me of a race team. Side view mirrors. Of course, that beautiful Liberty Walk wide body kit. Lensed headlights. Right hand drive. PR5s. Huge metal wing. And just all the goodness you would expect from a Hot Wheels GTR. Very cool. Oh, it's another oh, one of those Bugattis. These are pretty cool. Another one of Ryu's rides. Yeah, hey, I think I got a blue one of these. They're pretty neat. I do like the Bugatti logo. Very neat. Kind of interesting wheels to put with it. So, more kind of like plain wheels, but not, not like airplane, but you know, plain, like basic. No side view mirrors on this one. We do have some nice tail lights. This one, I just thought it was cool. This is what Hot Wheels um, is. This is their version of Kit if they were gonna make one. I had to look it up because I didn't know if it was from a TV show or a movie or you know, like a made for TV movie or something that I missed. But I guess, according to what I found um, online, it just uh, this is what Hot Wheels, you know, what they dreamt up for Kit. So I figured I'd pick it up. It's only a buck oh nine, it's a buck between friends. Let's see, it is pretty cool. <laughs> it's very Italian looking. It's got the wedge shape going on. Again, it has this very plain looking wheels, but that's cool. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I do think it's quite neat though. <laughs> very cool. Pretty neat. All right, let's put that one right there. Uh, let's see, only three individual ones to open up, but we still have more for that, so don't go anywhere. Uh, now we got an old blue card to crack open. An old uh, 930. Check this out. I just realized this is from KB and it was a buck 09 way back in the day. Crazy. At um, Walmart, they went, they're 95 cents the whole, or 99 cents the whole time I was collecting, and now they're 109. I don't mind this bit. I don't care. <laughs> it's such a cheap hobby that I don't even care. Look at this cool one. The reason I like this one so much is because it's a slant nose. It doesn't have the round headlights like a regular 930 or 911 does. I really think these are cool. That big iconic Porsche wing. And of course, it's got black walls. Another reason I love this model. Very, very cool. And of course, it is metal on metal because it's old school. I think those are called slotted five spoke wheels. I guess that's what I always call them. Alright, 
there it is up close. Got really nice looking metallic green. Like an olive green. Looks really good. Oh, we got a brown leather interior. Very nice. Good old Hot Wheels Volkswagen casting. It's been very nice for a very long time. All right, and the last single card is this really cool McLaren F1 GTR. It's like the second F1 in this video. But who's complaining? All right, there it is. Awesome. I thought it was Zamac at first, but no, this is a very shiny metallic paint. Beautiful copper tin spokes. No headlights. Wait, no, I'm sorry. There's no taillights, but there is headlights. Let's see. Let's compare it to the regular model. Which one is your favorite? Let me know down below. All right, so that was it for the single carded ones, but I've had this for a while, and I honestly forgot about it until I started unpacking. What better time than now than, uh, you know, to crack it open? The Lancia Stratos Group 5. I always called it Lancia, but I hear a lot of Italians call it Lancia. And it's probably the only one of this set that I'm gonna get. I think it's pretty cool though. I really like these Lancia castings. I've got a couple. Sprinter, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see, better check. Yeah, there you go. Sakura Sprinter or Sakura. Pretty cool. That is plastic. This is, wait, no. Wait, no, that's. It feels like metal to me. That's metal. This is metal. This is plastic, of course. There's always a little plastic piece in here to keep the car from going in there. Very cool. I like that. I like these wheels. Those are nice. This is definitely cool. These usually roll really well, too. This is very nice. And of course, here is the beautiful Valencia. With the big deep dish in the rear. And the skinnier one up front. Those look like TE37s to me. Love that crazy perforated hood. It's wild. Love this car. So neat. And of course, it's a little metal premium. It's got a nice white metal base, very cool. Love that one. Let's see, we're not quite done. We have one more thing to crack open. I've seriously had this for months. It's like this, like a, I don't even know what this one's called, actually. It's like a premium high-end car set. <laughs> I'm not even sure what the name is or if it has a special name. I'm sure it does. But I'm going to crack it open off screen and I'll be right back. Here it is. All cracked open and ready to be checked out. Let me put this aside and we'll look at them one by one. I'm going to start with this one real, real quick. I'm sure lots of us have seen the carry-on a million billion times. It's a cool little carrier truck. I like the wheels on this one. Sure, I've seen these yet. Interesting. Nicely detailed. Very beautiful. Now, Bugattis, I like the interior more than the exterior, personally. I respect their speed and power and all that good stuff, but their interiors are just amazing. And the last car for the video is this awesome Koenigsegg. Thank you very much for kicking it with me on the 
this Saturday afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great three-day weekend. I know I am for sure. Um, I have a lot more diecast to crack open, but I figured this was a good amount for one video. I think the next video I'll do Matchbox, and I might even do it tomorrow just for fun. Just because I'm having such a good time cracking this stuff open, and I've got a lot of uh, car cracking to make up for. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and I will catch you dudes next time. Calling out this you